don't know any of you all. But now y'all want to start this uh, soft guy era. This drizzle, drizzle movement, right? Listen. Any man that's comfortable with the woman coming out of her purse or her pocket spending money on you, understand is you'll do the same with a man. Oh, brother, bruh. Now, come on, Auntie. You know better than this. You think so good? Dinner's on me tonight. No, dinner's on mommy. <laughs> drizzle, drizzle. What's going on, YouTube? Busy Boy Rome back with another video. If you're new to the platform, welcome to the tribe. By the end of this video, I hope you subscribe. So, the soft guy era is still trending and it is on the rise. I'm seeing guys of all ages and races <laughs> chiming in on it and doing their own little satire skits of it and it's freaking hilarious. However, I want people, especially the ladies, to understand that there is a reason for this and I think it's being overlooked and really overlooked on, on both sides because there were some men who had some disagreements about this movement as well uh i find it it was a bit sad that even some men couldn't tell that it was a joke but i think most men did however i'm gonna i think we're gonna get some clarification on why men didn't re some men didn't react to it knowing that it was a joke and we're also gonna go over what the in my opinion and i think most guys opinion what the soft guy era uh, drizzle drizzle movement is really all about so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into it what are you going to withhold from women in any meaningful way that is going to force us to meet your conditions and demands nothing we are not going to withhold anything from you look before i get going to my ladies i love y'all i love that y'all are more successful than ever I love that you are doing great things in this world. And quite frankly, this whole drizzle drizzle movement is never about separation of men and women at all. It's to make fun of sprinkle sprinkle while also asking for reciprocation from the women that we are pursuing. Every man is not worthy of a woman's love. And a lot of these women who feel entitled of a man's resources just as much as his love without reciprocating are not worthy either. So speaking on behalf of the men that want to reciprocate to their woman, we are not gonna withhold anything from you. From society, they say that there are not as many good men out there in the world. So if you think about the men out there that are quality, have value in themselves, and actually know who they are and want reciprocation, a lot of y'all women are gonna be without. Because a man like myself always will be with a woman who reciprocates. Like I said before, I have a provider mindset. But when you have a woman that love you back, it hit different. A woman like that is so rare. That is the woman I'm so glad that I have in my life. See, the reason why this will work is because the men are going to find those women. There are a lot of women out there that want love, appreciation, reciprocation, and they have the ability to invest in their men. And the men that want those type of women are going to get them. Now, for the women out there that's listening to me right now, if you got a man in your life that don't want to do nothing and you do everything, kick his ass to the curb. But baby, if you get a chance to get a man who loves on you and gives you the world, baby, give it back to him because he deserves it just as much as you. The reason I make these videos, honestly, is because I want the lovers to be with the lovers and I want the bums to be with the bums. I don't wanna hear no more happy wife, happy life. I wanna hear happy spouse, happy house. To my women, I love y'all. So find a man that loves you back. And to my fellas, stop dealing with bum ass women who expect things from me without reciprocating. If we put more effort into one another, the right people will be with each other and the wrong people won't have nothing at all. That's what Drizzle Drizzle is. On both sides, we need to stop giving the users a platform because love is love. Peace. Reciprocation. That's all men are asking for. And it really is the bare minimum. But you want to know something? I've noticed something on social media lately when it comes to this kind of uh, talking point that I find very interesting. Whenever a man talks about all the things that he does for a woman, men don't usually give him push back so much 
if anything, they usually, usually the first thing they ask is, well, okay, what does your woman do for you? Now, on the flip side, when women are always talking about what a man should do for her or does for her, you rarely see women asking what she does for him. Have y'all noticed that? Let me know in the comments. Now we're going to show you a video of the original, uh, the, the origin, the creator of the soft guy movement. Uh, however, I think it's another guy that does this with him. I guess they came up with it at the same time. I think his name is Jay Goody. I had him on one of the clips when I first started reacting to this trend. Uh, but the brother that y'all going to see next, his name is Scarface Mark. Make sure y'all look him up because I think he started a YouTube channel as well. Let's keep it moving. No. See, a lot of women have never come across a man that told them no. They're simply just not used to that. See, it's 2024. You're going to be making money. You're going to be spending that shit. You're not just going to be sitting there spending all my money while you're sitting on yours. You're going to be spending it. I don't care. See, see this is what the soft guy era is about. You women are going to start coming out of pocket. It doesn't make sense. You're a grown woman. You're going to be paying grown woman bills. And see, my problem with this is a lot of women sit here and say, oh, well, if I'm going to be paying bills, I'm going to be paying all my own bills without a man. If I'm going to pay bills, I'm going to pay all of my own without a man instead of going half on them. It doesn't make sense. And this logic shows you that they only look at men as wallets. That's literally all they look at men as wallets. I'm telling you, that's exactly what it is. A lot of you men need to start telling these women no to see if they even really like you for real. I came across some women, bro. They'd be like, oh, you're the first man that ever told me no. I'm like, what? What? I'm the first man to ever tell you no. See, a lot of men can't keep a woman unless they're spending all their money. That's why. Listen, if she's thinking like this, bro, you're not dealing with a woman, bro. You're not. You're dealing with a spoiled little girl, a spoiled brat. A brat, that's all you're dealing with. I don't care how much money I make. My man should still pay everything. You're stingy and you're selfish. I don't need a selfish woman in my life. I don't. I'm in my soft guy era. <laughs> when y'all be on here talking about, oh, I could never help my man out. I could never buy my man no gift. I could never cook for no man. I could never oil no nigga body down and feed him grapes. I could never cater to my man. I would never give no nigga name tags. I would never buy no nigga gifts. I would never do that. 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 I would Just like I said, guys, they get shamed for anything that they do for a man. I don't know what it is with these women that think they they don't have to do anything for their man. And then y'all wonder why y'all having such a hard time finding what y'all looking for. Do y'all realize that what you're basically describing as a sugar daddy? Think about that. You want a man to pay for everything and expect nothing in return. Basically no kind of reciprocation whatsoever that's that sounds like a sugar daddy tell me i'm lying that's crazy bro damn i'm like and, and if a man talking all of all these things he does for a woman women gonna say as he should he a real king that's a real man but then a woman comes with that same energy and those very same women will shame that woman, bro. I swear, bro, like seriously, women tear down other women more than um, they claim men do. Real talk. I've done a video on that as well. Anyway, I digress. Let's keep it moving. The next step in the drizzle drizzle movement is to simply cut off the money. No only friend subscriptions, no clubs, Please, please make this a thing, please. Especially in regard to only friends. Some of y'all are making these women rich and I just don't comprehend it when so much free material is available. Please stop funding these women and let them use their brains to get what they need out of life. They depend on men and their money totally. Most of the SW industry is financed by men. Without men? These industries would crash and burn. All of these women maintain such deluded beliefs. 
because of the guys that are out here blowing them up. They cannot do it without men. Since being on this app, I've realized just how damaging simping really is because it's the simping culture that gives women such deluded beliefs. It's making them all feel like they're tens when they're not even close. It's also giving them the false illusion that they're entrepreneurs right up there with Bill Gates and Elon Musk and the rest of them. They feel like boss bees. Without men, I would love to see how bad these bees really are. Let's see if they can survive without you. Because simping fuels stupidity on all fronts. The way that you have a conversation, a real conversation, is cut the money off. That's right. It will work. Same thing we've been seeing with all of the successful boycotts lately. Kellogg's, Budweiser, other companies. Boycotting works. Stop paying women's bills. Stop paying for their beauty treatments, especially in regard to those subscriptions. Do it for a while at least, just to restore some semblance of balance in the world. And if you can't go cold turkey, cut it in half and then begin to titrate down. Seriously, because they have nothing without you yet. They'll proclaim to the world that it's female empowerment that got them where they are. But it was you. You're the female empowerment. Men are the female empowerment. Those types of women are nothing without you. Drizzle, drizzle. Man, I know I haven't done a video about this in a while, but dude. Fellas, if y'all know any man that is paying a, a woman's OnlyFans, subscribe to a woman's OnlyFans, bruh, tear they ass up. No diddy. Seriously. True, I'm like, for really, bruh, they need to get, bruh, they need to be have a talking to, man. I, I'm, bruh, I, I, I'm, cause I am so sick of this, bruh, cause I see it on social media all the time. Every single woman that got an OnlyFans, they act like, they too good for men now. When it when, when when it really should be the other way around, like seriously, like how are you gonna act like you too good for men when that's you make your living off of the lust of men? It, it, it's crazy to me, man. The logic doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Not to mention these women look at these men like they're trash bro incels lame any 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 name you can think of in the book do you know what i find insane everybody keeps asking me what i think about the drizzle drizzle uh movement i'm all for it i literally talk about men's mental health all the time i'm always on men's side so of course I'm going to ride for this fucking movement. And here's another thing. Whenever that soft guy merch, uh, you know, comes out or whatever, I'm going to buy about 10 of those outfits and pass them to my followers or whatever so they can wear it, send me pictures, and then I'll post it all over my stuff. Anything that has to do with black men rising to the top, I support it. You women that are getting upset at this soft guy era drizzle drizzle, what are you mad about? Y'all had your fun with I hate men movement, the Me Too movement, sprinkle, sprinkle, and all this stuff. And that sprinkle, sprinkle lady, that hyena lady or whatever that talks like this, she literally encourages you guys to take men's money. The soft guy movement is just about men getting treated right, getting loved and cherished as well. If you get mad at that, something's wrong with your head. Larga de aquí. If you're mad at it, bow, bow, bow. That's a soft guy. And shout out to Tay Tay. Uh, make sure y'all subscribe to her channel as well. This next clip comes from Crimson Cure. This is what I really want guys and women, if you're watching, to pay attention to what she says here because it is so important and vital to what I think this movement is really all about. And, and it, it exposed a lot on both sides. And y'all gonna understand what, what, what I mean when she explains this. Let's keep it moving. And then it also exposed how deeply ingrained being a provider and how deeply that is linked to men's concept of masculinity and what makes them men. And I'm not saying that as a bad thing. 
I'm saying it as this proves that it is within their nature to do it, not something that is culturally taught. It's not a social construct for them. This is a part of their nature. The four Ps of which provision is one of them is his nature. He, he's going to always want to do that in some facet or some form of fashion. And so the men were offended, actually. It offended their sensibilities. It offended their sense of masculinity to even consider um, that there should be such a thing as a soft guy era and men not doing what men do. And I found that to be telling. It's interesting that even in this climate, where women are so ungrateful and so heedless and hold men in such low value and esteem in general uh, to where they constantly give themselves and each other this exact advice. Don't, don't be, essentially don't be a good woman to a man that hasn't married you. Sit on your butt, don't add value to his life until he puts a ring on your finger as if that allows you him to put a ring on your finger when he has seen that you do not add a value to him to his life so it becomes a vicious cycle of negativity but i'm not even really going to go down that rabbit hole of the women i want to stay on the men for just a little second here because again they were offended about it they did not, unlike the women who would have been all in the comment section cheering it, had it been a woman saying that same thing, they would have been like, yeah, you, why, why are we giving me and all of these benefits of being a wife and blah, 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 blah. And they don't commit and they still cheat and they do this and they do that. And he's still going to cheat no matter what you do, blah, 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 blah. They've got that narrative down pat. And like I said, it would have been cheerleading in the comments had it been a woman the men did not have that reaction. And I need the females to understand that and and un, and recognize it and acknowledge it. The men did not have that reaction. They didn't like the insinuation that they should not do what men do and have done historically. And they found the advice absurd. I think it's a blessing in disguise that a lot of them didn't pick up the satirical nature of this post so they responded in a genuine way right a simpish way because they should have seen it but nevertheless a genuine way as well this is why i love crimson cure so much uh, make sure y'all subscribe to y'all ch her channel if you haven't already but i think probably 99 percent of the people that watch me watch her as well so shout out to her but she is 100% right. And I think, again, this is something that women need to recognize. You had basically two reactions. Either the men knew it was satire and they're having fun and they're laughing about it, kind of like I was. And some men were. And then you had another group of men that were genuinely offended. And they, and they actually had an issue with it and for her reasons exactly because it wasn't like they were offended like like oh these guys lame these guys soft it was it, I think it was a situation where they were just kind of like huh like wait a second nah man that that don't sound mad yeah you know I mean it, it it's almost as if like they felt like their masculinity was getting attacked when in reality it was like no the joke just went over your head just like a lot of women so i agree with her in that way and maybe it was a blessing of this of disguise because what i'm noticing is most it seemed like most men could tell it was a joke small number of women could tell that it was a joke small number of men reacted to it I don't want to say negatively, but genuinely. And then majority of women seem to have an issue with it because they don't see the joke or they do see the joke and they just don't like it because it's putting a mirror in their face. But y'all let me know what y'all think. If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. Oh, geez, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that bell notification. That way I know what I'm uploading. Hit the like button because that's with the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the Travel Vlog channel, Unplugged Traveler. 
Link is in the description. Until the next video, y'all. Deuces.